Yo, what is up guys? Willis Pack here again with another gaming video. It's going to be something a little different. This is a paper clips game. You can see the URL in the top bar there, decisionproblem.com slash paperclips. Um, so you can check this out. This went viral like probably a month or two before I'm posting this video. I know I'm pretty late to the party, uh, but when I was playing it, I did. I played through it like once or twice, I think. Uh, obviously once because this video here is the ending. I can't remember if I played a second time I should probably know that but when I was doing it it took forever and ever and ever and I was googling around for like how does this game end like tips to go faster and things like that and there really wasn't much out there uh, it's been a while since I did that search I did record this a while ago like I said I haven't done a search since then and at that point there wasn't a lot out there about this game and the ending of the game and strategy for this game how to complete it the quickest or whatever but overall it's it's a really cool game it's kind of a, I guess, dystopian look on the future of AI, and you know, I'm not going to go and do a whole discussion. I don't have anything really prepared for this video. I'm just winging it here with some commentary. But you know, as a, a software developer myself, and kind of you know, interested in this whole technology phase, and you know, the future of AI and machine learning, and you know, those are the two big buzzwords now. It's been big data for a couple years, and I think big data is not going away or anything. But I think machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence have pretty much officially taken over the software development community. Everybody's obsessed with it and a lot of the big names have differing views on it. I know, you know, once again, I haven't done extensive research on it, but from what I've heard, what I've read in a couple articles here or there, uh, it seems like people like Elon Musk are a little more skeptical of it and people like Mark Zuckerberg are a little more like, hey, this could be or this will be the best thing to happen to us, you know, to really progress society whatever that means exactly but there are some some warnings there are some some things to consider some drawbacks and I think this game highlights that perfectly in that AI is essentially based on achieving a goal you give it a goal to achieve and so this game breaks it down into one simple goal which is make more paper clips the AI just wants to make more paper clips and it's a whole entire process what you're seeing here is like the last I don't know 10 minutes or less of of the game. I think it took four or five hours of actual gameplay time for this. As far as I know it doesn't it doesn't continue running if it's not active. Obviously I was a little nervous about like hitting the back button or something like that after going through all this but it might even save your state. I don't know. I should go back to the URL and see if the game is shown as completed because that would say that it does save my state at least until my local cache or cookies is cleared whatever the deal is with that and so basically you just progress you progress you build these drones and you you build these wire clippers and you build all these different things um, and you know eventually you get to these von Neumann probes which you can google those and see what those are it's basically my understanding once again not an expert I didn't do a lot of research but basically it's a self-replicating design that can explore anything you know can explore space and obviously self-replicating is the the big part of that that's where AI gets really scary and really really nerve-wracking because you know it starts doing its own thing it starts repopulating like like any living thing would you know humans whatever a grizzly bear a, a moose you know they start replicating and they start using resources on the planet to do their job which in the case of a human might be surviving you know we might be using uh, wood to start a fire and we might hunt animals to to get calories and protein and nutrients whatever and so the AI their resources is this metal and they turn everything into paper clips that's their main objective and so ultimately they use up all the resources on earth I believe and then you kind of start exploring outer space and then eventually you take on the whole universe as you see there it now says space exploration 100% 100.000000% of universe explored, which is just insane to think about. And I guess the theory is that if you had all the matter in the universe, you could make whatever 30, I forget what the number is, um, septendecillion paperclips. I don't know, it might be something different. Um, <laughs> 
but it's quite a bit and you know it's just kind of a warning about the future of AI I don't think I don't think AI is something to worry about I don't think it's gonna get it out of hand or, or take over without us knowing but it is something to consider when you build machine learning algorithms and uh, this artificial intelligence uh, it's really something to think about you know and as we get more and more advanced you know right now the application of artificial intelligence is very specific if you're writing it in software you're probably doing a very specific thing you're you're learning a, a very specific you know subset of a subset of a subset of tasks and so going beyond those tasks becomes very hard but over time as we develop these algorithms as they learn more and more we could ultimately create something that could destroy the entire planet if you think about it like that and so this is the ending right here I think we got like two minutes left so let me know what you think in the comments below just some, you know, just some preliminary thoughts. I'm not an expert on AI. I haven't researched it or anything. This is all just off the top of my head. And now I believe, since recording this, I believe they released an Android and an iOS application. And I believe they have like a t-shirt store or something, like a merch store. So like I said, it went pretty viral like a month or two ago. So obviously it's gotten a lot of traction. And if you made the game, you might as well try to turn some profit off of it. But Overall, I think it's a great contribution to society, you know, get people thinking about AI and, and stuff like that. And so I know it's a little different from what I usually post on this channel. If you're new here, you know, check out my channel if you're interested in gaming. I post a lot of different games all the way from mobile to PlayStation 4 and I'll expand in the future to PC and whatever else, you know, whatever other console and stuff. So I do play a handful of games on my channel right now. So I figured I'd post this. You have to make the last couple paper clips by hand there by clicking the button. And yeah, I guess there are two alternate endings. I don't think I mentioned that, uh, but that was earlier in the video. You can choose like accept or reject for one of the, the options. You can go back and see it, but that's basically it. That's how the game ends. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe. Check out my other videos and let me know in the comments if you would like to see like a full playthrough of this. I could do like a live stream. I could probably accomplish it in like four hours, I think, now that I've been through it. So let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'll catch you on the next video.